Shangulowe mine in the Katanga. From a, an older deposit, new material, or relatively new material, now is uh, August 2022, um, we have a thin crust of maybe a compacted clay, not a very hard ore, and sitting on that are these barrett crystals with this interesting coloration. Now in the past, I think it was in maybe 2010 and surrounds, there was a sensation about these particular barrets. But on closer magnification, I find that the association is most likely some malachite, but this color is most likely, in my estimate, caused by pseudomalachite. Um, waxy uh, 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 blue-green pseudomalachite. Also what I've found in some of these sections would be minor tiny labethanite crystals. I don't know if we have them here, but uh, we would be looking at maybe these little dots over here under magnification, of course, quite magnificent, as is rather appealing. I'll just take it around like this. So looking from the top down, if you have this lying flat on a turntable, uh, I'd actually have it uh, uh, going around on a turntable like this. Matrix is a lovely uh, uh, broad contrast to the, the main meatiness of this, this fruity specimen. All the way from uh, the Shangulowe mine in the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent, of course, uh, uh, copper mines of the Congo. The material I offer from the Congo is all product of uh, expensive formal mining.